Welcome back viewers and thank you for staying tuned. Um, just before the break we've spoken about the business plan, we've spoken about um, a bit of what we touched on a bit on the mindset and we were talking about your latest project. Yeah. Now before we go further I just want to ask you one very important question. Mm -hmm. You know, We talk about mindset, having the right mindset. Yeah. What do we mean by mindset? What is the mindset and what type of different mindsets there's, are there? There's different mindsets. You've got one which is uh, fixed, which is, you know, they have a goal and that's it. You know, they, they want to, for example, they want to open a flower shop and they want to just open the flower shop and keep it as that. Then you've got the different mindset, which is being an entrepreneur, which is someone who does business, could fail, does another business, fails and doesn't give up, keeps a repeating the process. Mindset, yeah. He wants to grow, he wants to do different things um, and that's another mindset. And another mindset is where it's a growth mindset. All they think about is expansion. Expansion worldwide or local, it's all about growing. So there's different mindsets in place and anyone out there who wants to do a business, you know, pick which one's you because uh, all of them are good. It, it's all about which one suits you and which one you're comfortable with. If you're someone who has a lot of skills and always wants to learn stuff and do stuff, then maybe the entrepreneur mindset is for you. If you're someone who's happy with just one goal, one mission, then you know do, do the fixed mindset, that's mm. perfect for you. It's all about what you're comfortable with and what your end goal is. If your end goal is to do something where it's all about growth, then the growth one is for you. It's all about what you are and where you want to be. Yeah, okay. Um, obviously, that's your opinion for the mindset to have in the business world. Yeah. Um, personally, um, you know, I as an individual, uh, the two mindsets are fixed and the growth mindset. Yeah. Uh, to me, the differences of the two mindset, I believe, is the growth mindset is the one who continues and if there's an obstacle, the fixed mindset stops there and thinks yeah. that's it, it's not working for me. Yeah. And the growth mindset will think, hold on, why is there an obstacle? Why has that obstacle happened? Let me see how I can rectify that and carry on and move forward. Yeah. But I'm not giving up on my goal. Yeah. Uh, I think to me, those are the two mindsets that an individual has. Either you fit in the fixed mindset uh, category or you're in the growth mindset category. Yeah. Am I right? Absolutely. Yeah. And you always have to be open headed, clear minded and think of the uh, bigger picture and um, you know don't make fast uh, decisions because you're probably not thinking through it you know take your time think which one uh, which sort of mindset you want to be in um, and like I said keep it clear keep it open um, because once you are in that particular mindset it's very hard to change to a different mindset and you know just be honest with yourself you know don't push yourself to a mindset where you're not comfortable with because It'll bring problems along the way. You've got to build it, gradually build it. Absolutely, so. yeah. yeah. And the other thing uh, in life, I believe, and I want you to touch up on that if you can, um, an individual, how much does he believe in himself? Yeah. Is that a very important part? Because I believe that is the very, very beginning. A lot of people of have fear. Fear hmm. comes into place, and that's where the belief kind of dissolves. So what, one of the obstacles you'll get when you're starting off or taking a step into business um, especially a lot of people who have never been into business, it all comes down to fear. They think from a risk point of view, it's too risky, or I'm scared, I haven't done this before. And all these why questions build up and that's when they give up. Now when that happens, when you've got the fear, uh, one of the things to do is, you know, take a step back, get a pad, just simple as that, get a pad, and just put all, your qual all the qualities of your skills, just jot it down. And one of the things you realize is exactly what you did, isn't it? Exactly what I've yeah. done is yeah. take a step back, get a pad, put all your qualities, what you've done, um, what you're good at. You know, it could be something else. I like to talk to people. You know, that that's a skill. That means you're a people's person. Um, or it could be something like I like to help people, I like to support people, um, or I'm creative. You know, when it, when, when you're jotting things down, one of the things you identify is, hey, I've got a marketing, I've got a marketing mindset. Hey, I've got a customer service mindset and you'll see things building up and that's when it overcomes your fears mm. and it motivates you to step even you know further into a next stage yeah 
That's true. And <coughs> viewers, you know, uh, for those of you who are trying to get into the business, remember that, you know, you, whatever business you're getting into, you need to be very passionate about it. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and actually, um, again, you know, that belief, that vision, the vision needs to be crystal clear where you yeah. want to achieve, what you want to achieve, where do you want to go. Um, without those in place, you know, you can make a many business plan you like, you can work hard as you like, ain't going to work because your vision needs to be simply clear of your goal and the belief of you, yourself, has to be there. If you believe in yourself, you will achieve your success. That is a very important element of every individual. Every successful people out there had always proved this to work. If you have a good belief system in you and a good vision, the rest will follow. Absolutely, I, I totally agree on that. And if you've got a fear and you're like thinking, hey, I, I really want to be a business person, but I don't have the skills. What do I do? You know, how do I learn? I've never been in that field. There's a lot of courses out there, free courses. You know, mm. go on the internet, learn them, utilize the free courses. There's management courses out there. There's marketing courses. They're absolutely free. There's loads. There's tons in there on the exactly. internet. You know, learn, develop yourself. You know, it's, it's all about self-learning. And even, you know, for example, if you've been working on the employment for, you know, so many years and you're trying to think, right, I want to get into business, but I don't really understand uh, business. Get into, you know, switch to a different employment where you can understand business and understand that particular sector, which relates to your ultimate goal, because that's what I did. I'm really glad you touched w on that. One yeah, of the things really I important. did was, you know, I've worked in different sectors. Before I was a businessman, I worked under, you know, big companies. Um, I worked in the finance, I worked in legal, I've worked in transport, I've worked in filming, I've worked in uh, my last job, which was in digital marketing. So I've gained different sectors and one of the reasons why I did that was I had the Naga King vision in mind for a long time. But for me to reach that level and that platform, I had to get understanding of every single sector because Naga King involves all of that. And that's what you can do as well, you know, get as much experience as you can, even if it's different sectors. There's loads of courses out there. Um, and, you know, there's loads of business people out there, you know, watch the videos, see how they've mm. developed themselves and see their story. And, you know, that will inspire you. Yeah. Seeing the story, learning from them is yeah. a very important part Absolutely. of running your business and becoming who you want to become. Yeah. You know, you've got to learn from the successful people. Absolutely. You know, rub your shoulders with the right people. Yeah, you know, that's the most important thing as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And w one of the things you'll learn is when you work in big organization is business structure and a structure model where the people have roles, people have responsibilities, and that puts you in a mindset where you think, when I do my own business, there should be a director underneath the director, there should be, it's a hierarchy of roles, and people with specific responsibilities. Um, you know, you, you understand corporate culture, yeah. which you could implement to your business. Slowly but surely. Absolutely, yeah. That's yeah. It. And um, I'm, I'm really glad you've touched up on the learning bit, you know, how important it is to yeah. learn about every aspect of your business, yeah. you know, not just to go in. I like the fact that you mentioned that you actually went and worked for people yeah. just to gain knowledge in different sectors. And that is free learning, yeah. but it's actually investing your time into yeah. your business. Absolutely. And yeah. if you don't want to do that, like I said, go and learn the courses, the free courses online. You know, if because as an entrepreneur, as a businessman, you're you're the marketing guy, you're the finance guy, you're everything. Uh, especially as an entrepreneur, and you need to learn all these different aspects. And mm. if you're struggling, there's a lot of courses out there. Utilize them. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, um, coming back onto yourself, um, do you have any other expansion plans? Well, with uh, with my project, the latest project with Naga King, um, I'm looking to go to Dhaka in uh, summer okay. and launch it in the Gulshan area. So Naga King will be launched in Bangladesh okay. um, and hopefully from there it'll be moving to Canada. So okay. I've got plans in place. This year it'll be Bangladesh. So 2018 I'm looking at launch of Bangladesh in Gulshan in Dhaka. Um, and hopefully, you know, cover every aspect of the mm. UK as well, you know. Why Gulshan Dhaka and not Canada first? Um, I've always thought about my people first. And I always thought, you know, especially Bangladesh, my chilies mm. come from Bangladesh. It's all about, you know, launching the product where the chilies come from. 
Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, Naga King was inspired by the country of Bangladesh. You know, my logos have the colors of Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. um, my, you know, even my labels be made in Bangladesh. So, you know, it's, it's all about going back to my roots. So my root is Bangladesh. Um, even though I was born here, my root is Bangladesh. Yeah, right. And Daha, uh, Gulshan in particular is, um, you know, it's, it's my product is a premium product. It's got premium ingredients and people are recognizing that. And Gulshan is going to be a trial launch because the population in Gulshan, they like to taste premium products, quality products, imported goods. Um, and, you know, Naga King will be an imported good okay. for the people of Bangladesh. Okay, so excellent. it's going to be a trial to see the reaction. Um, and if that is successful, then it'll be implemented in the whole of Bangladesh. Mm. How's the support been from our community supporters? The support from our community has mm. been amazing. One of the things that you know, I hear from people is there's, you know, no one's been in the manufacturing business from a Bengali, uh, you know, young person point of view. Um, you always see the Indian community, you see the Pakistani community going into the manufacturing business, but there actually hasn't been a young British Bangladeshi. So, you know, I've got overwhelming support from family, my, my parents, my brother, my sisters, uh, you know, even, you know, everyone in the media family has been supporting me, um, friends, and even people who have networked, uh, who come from our community, you know, the support has been amazing. Um, and, you know, to be honest, w w one of the things is, especially from our community, is what we need to recognize is, you know, we have to be proud of someone, yeah. um, you know, who's doing something and push them, you know, support them and push them and support them where you can. Um, but yeah, overall, I've got fantastic support, support. from the whole of community. That's brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. Apart from your latest project, um, what else is going on? So, um, as you know, I'm the CEO of Innovate Group, which has various of different companies. Um, I've got Find the Best Rooms, which is .com, which is the um, hotel comparison site. So it's a website, and it compares majority, I'd say majority of the hotels in the world. So it's a worldwide um, business. It's not just a UK, and it finds the cheapest rooms. Um, that's going under redevelopment at the moment, and it's getting a revamped website. So that's happening at the moment. Okay. Also, the same thing is happening with Prestige Performance Cars, uh, which is um, you know performance high-end selling car sales company. Um, the website's getting done up. Then there's going to be an app as well. Okay. So there's a lot of website revamping going on at the moment with my companies. How are you juggling everything together? A lot of people ask me, like, especially with a quite a big, large project. Yeah, right? a lot of people ask me, you're doing Naga King. That's a massive project. How mm. do you have time for other companies? Well, th it's a simple answer. I've been doing the other companies for years, and they're part of me. Um, and Naga King wasn't. Naga King's just come into the last four years. Whereas, for example, the FindTheBestRooms.com that was with me for the last ten years. Mm. So you know, it's part of me, and you know, I understand that business very well. Mm. Just to uh, cut it short, because we're coming to the end, where do you see yourself in five years' time? Five years, I'm looking to uh, grow my brand worldwide and be a role model for the next generation. I want people mm. to say, you know, I looked up to the Naga King yeah. or Jad Chowdhury, and this is where I am because of him. Okay, thank you very much for being on our show today. Thank Again, you very much. Again, thank you very much. Thank you. Viewers, we have come to the end of the show and thank you very much for watching. Now, I'd like to thank everybody at NTV, especially our coordinator, Farsa Chaudhary, for bringing on again our special guest and all the guests that do come on. Now, viewers, in short today, we wanted to talk about the mindset and uh, just to recap and remind you about the two different mindsets. You've got a fixed mindset, you've got a uh, growth mindset. Now, the fixed mindset are the people who will stop at obstacles and then think that they cannot go ahead anymore. The growth mindset people are the people who would stop at this obstacle and look back how they can go forward from there and continue with their goal. So believe me, be in the growth mindset and you've got your life sorted. Now, viewers, once again, I just want to remind you, if you want to watch um, any of our previous shows, please go onto YouTube. 
please go to YouTube and you can watch the shows and also you can watch our live NTV shows any live uh, programs on NTV uh, on EuropeNTV.com we've got a live uh, button there and remember if you get anything that you want to talk about you want to tell us please do email us on business today at Europe ntv.com that's business today at europe ntv.com so that's it from us today so tomorrow's business is business today